Urinary tract infections. Does cranberry juice really help? Here's five simple tips that can actually help prevent a UTI. The urinary tract infection, or UTI for short. UTIs are a worldwide global issue with 8 billion doctor visits worldwide. It's the number one bacterial infection. And women are 20 to 1 men likely to have a UTI. So, before we start with the tips, let's first answer the question which I'm sure you all want to know. Does cranberry juice really help with the UTIs? Well, I'm afraid not. Studies have shown it has no benefit whatsoever. So, I guess we've at least busted that myth. Okay, so first tip. Yes, you should drink plenty of fluids when you have a UTI because it can help dilute the amount of bacteria that's in your bladder and the urethra. The urethra is the little tube that your pee comes out of. But remember, if you're taking antibiotics, you don't want to drink excessive amounts of fluids because you want to keep the levels of antibiotic concentrated in the bladder and urethra so you can kill all those bad bacteria. Tip two, you've gone to the bathroom, you've done your business, you feel amazing, right? And now you're about to wipe, but you need to make sure that you wipe from front to back. You don't want to be wiping from back to front because if you do, the bad bacteria that colonizes the rectum, like E. coli, can get closer to the urethra and put you at higher risk of a UTI. Tip three, emptying your bladder soon after sexual intercourse can help prevent you from getting a UTI, especially if you're used to getting repeated UTIs after intercourse. Tip number four, try to empty your bladder fully when you go for a pee. And if you need to go, don't hold it in. So if you've got the urge, go for a pee. Tip five, try going for a shower instead of a bath as it can help. Also wear loose cotton underwear. What you want to avoid is wearing tight jeans, trousers, and synthetic underwear like nylon. So what are the symptoms of a UTI? Urgency, so having to go to the bathroom straight away. Frequency, you pee, you think you've done, and then you need to go again. Pain or burning sensation when you pee. Smelly, cloudy, or even blood in your pee. Feeling tired or unwell, and in older people, changes in behavior such as confusion or agitation. And that's the end of the video. I hope my tips help prevent any future UTIs. And if you have any friends or family that will benefit from this video, then please help spread the word. I've also left more information in the description below about UTIs, so feel free to check it out. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow, or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos. E. coli can basically be transferred to your urethra. When you need to go, Tip four, try to empty your bloody, bloody, bloody bladder. That sounded a bit weird.